Here in this video, we're going to look at the uh, a pulley problem using a velocity time graph. Okay, the GeoGebra app that I'm going to use is in the uh, link is in the notes of the video. So here we've got a pulley, and we've got a particle p here of mass uh, m p, and a particle here m q. Okay, all we know is that the sum of the masses will be two kilograms in this case. We're going to call that equation one. Um, now, if we uh, click the start button here, we will see what happens with the motion. So if we click it, the motion starts, you can see this one's going down. So this one obviously has a bigger mass. This one goes up, this hits the ground, so it will continue to go up, but the acceleration now is acting under gravity, and it will come back down again some, some distance, okay? So that if we look at what happened with the... Um, particle p which is the green graph here it goes up at this particular point okay the um, particle q hits the ground but the particle p will keep going up but will slow down because the acceleration here is negative 9 is 9.8 at this particular time here 79 over 49 it reaches its greatest height and then it will start to move in the opposite direction because on the velocity time graph here, if you go across the axis, then there is a change of direction. Okay, on a velocity time graph, acceleration is given by the slope. Particle P just goes downwards. Okay, and we, we will be asking all the questions. So if we just reset that, and if we just clip like that, we have the uh, forces. So the forces acting on this one will be T minus MP. Uh, G is equal to MA, and this one, because it's going this way, it will be MQG minus T equal to MA. The initial acceleration of uh, P and Q, we'll just get it from here, we can get from this one, will be that this one is 6 divided by uh, 1, and this is just going in the opposite direction. Okay, so if we um, click here, we get the mathematics. You can see this for yourself. The, those are the two equations I got on. If you try to solve those two equations, then you will end up w with uh, G, MQ minus MP is equal to 6, because the acceleration of MP plus MQ, when you add these two equations here together. But from 1, we know that MP plus MQ is equal to 2, which will allow me to find MP, MQ, so if we now use equation 4 and equation 1 and add them together, that will give me the masses of each of the particles. And then substituting into 2, we will get the tension of the rope. Now, if we want to find the uh, initial height, so what they actually started at, okay, then we know that Q has gone down, sorry, Q... move that up a bit q has gone uh down this uh the area under the graph here will give me the distance that q travels and don't forget that q travels from here down to this point here and that was to give me the initial height assuming that these two are at the same level to when they start so if we click here the area here will give me the initial height so it's just going to be a half times one times six which will give me that they were originally three meters above the ground and then we were asked what is the greatest height reached by um by uh, uh p okay so if we start that off again okay you can see they're running along the graph okay i'm going to try and stop at the right time that's where it uh so Q hits the ground and the screen becomes slack and it will move up a bit. I'm just going to see it, get it in the right moment. Okay, just not quite in the right place. Uh, we'll get it, if we go back a bit, we'll get that, that roughly there. It's at the right height. So basically what I need to do now is find the area under this, um, under this uh, graph here. And I can get that by clicking this point here. Okay, and if we find the area of that, it's just going to be equal to the initial height, which was 3, 
plus a half times 79 uh, over 49, which is the time there, times 6, which will give me, that will give me that this will, P will reach um, 7.84. Now, after that, then this will actually start to, because it crosses here, it got to its greatest height and it will start to go down again. Okay, so this has been a video to explain a, a pulley problem using GeoGebra, um, using an uh, interesting question because it involves a velocity time graph. If you, um, if we click, unclick that, if we, um, if you want to use the GeoGebra app, it will be in the notes of the video. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.